Okay, so today I am going to show you how I import custom assets, custom props into Unreal Editor for Fortnite. There's various ways to do this. The way I usually do it is by working in an external 3D software. And there's so many different types out there. The one I am using today is Blender. So I'll show how I do it there. And if you are using another type of 3D software, this might give you like a good example and some ideas. So here we are with our monster. And I also gave it a party hat today. And if you see, I have the party hat as its own separate object. And that's for a reason that I'm going to go over right now once we get back into Unreal. We also have like a skeletal rig here, but I'm not going to touch that today. We have some lights all around. Here in Blender, one method is to choose the objects that we want. Today I'm going to choose the monster itself and also I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click on the party hat. I even have the party hat into two separate pieces. I'm going to go to file, export, and let's go with FBX. So this is going to help pack in our textures our objects in general, and then even things like animations and rigs and stuff, if we were going to do that as well. Let's go to FBX. I want just the selected objects. We're going to name it Creature Star for Unreal Editor Test. Export FBX. Keep track of the folder that you place it in as well. At this point, we just want to let it export. Depending on the file size and everything that's packed into it, that will determine like the amount of time it takes. All right, let's go back into Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So here we are. We're here like in an empty scene template. We're going to go to Content Drawer. And we're going to go within this folder, but I'm going to also create a new folder in here for our asset, for our monster. So let's go in there and let's choose Add. Let's go to New Folder, Monster. Hit Enter. I'll open that up and at this point we have some options here as far as bringing in our asset our monster we can go to windows explorer we can find our file and we can drag and drop it or we can also go to import let's do that let's go to import and let's find our file here it is creature star for unreal editor tests we're going to click on it hit open and then here it brings up some options some fbx import options you can choose skeletal mesh if you're working with that and then remember how we were like talking about how I had the party hat and the monster as two separate objects. If I want them to come in as one whole mesh, one whole object together, I can hit combine meshes. If I want them to be separate pieces, I would just leave this unchecked. Something else I look for here is like materials. I'm going to have it create new materials in there, but I'm also going to have it import my textures through here. That way so we can work with the materials inside here and our textures in Unreal Editor. And then you have the options to import all files with these same settings or let's just import with these settings for now into this object. So we can hit import. And now we let it import our FBX mesh. So at this point, you are going to see a message log. Here you can look through it and see if there's any type of messages that might be useful to you as well. It's giving us something here about smoothing group information. We can go ahead and clear that and close it out. Let's go back into content drawer. And here we see everything that we imported in. We have our material here and then we have our texture maps. And then we have the material here for like the hats and the teeth and so on. And then right here, we have our static mesh, our monster. So we can click and drag it right in. We can raise it up with our gizmo here. And there we are. We can see that it brought in the party hat and the monster as a single mesh, as a single object. And that's very useful too, especially if you create a building that has separate pieces like doors the roof is one separate piece the walls everything's all separate pieces you can just go ahead and combine it all into one i'm going to show you how it looks like when i don't hit combine meshes so i'll create another folder here and i'll drag and drop it on this one so you can see how we do it at that method going to uncheck combine meshes leave that unchecked and this is how it's going to import if we do it that method i want to do this too so you can see how it would look separated and of course here in our outliner we have everything that we have in our scene here all right, we clear the message log out. We can close it. And as you can see, now we have our, you can see we have the same assets here, but now since we didn't combine the meshes, our monster is on its own. And then our party hat, it's in pieces on its own here and different things. Now, let's say that we didn't combine the meshes but we want them, right? You have some options here too. You can go back and re-import it, combine them and so on. Or you can choose the objects, hold down shift and select each one. And then we can drag and drop. And then you see how it automatically placed it into where those objects belong in relation to each other. Even though they're together, what's cool about this is that we separated them, right? So we have them together, but we also have them as separate objects here. So you can play around with each one separately. So this one right here, this monster has all the meshes combined, which is very useful, like to save time. If you know you're not going to 
mess around with each particular object in detail once you get back into Unreal. Yeah, this 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 will work too. I might I do that a lot for a lot of message. But let's say like you're gonna want to tweak some things when you're in here. This route would probably be a good route to go because I have everything separated here as we go in. But yeah, that is one way. Now we have this in our world here, and we are ready to go. And there it is, our monster that is partying, celebrating their birthday with their birthday hat. We already had a few in here, and now we have this one. <laughs> I am here if you have any more questions. Take care, take care.